And then that turned into now I get about 30,000 for the first week on my new releases, which is pretty insane. But it's just always consistently grown. What's up? It's Adzilla with Zilla Mode, and today we're going to be talking about algorithmic playlists. And by that, I mean Discover Weekly and Release Radar. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Release Radar. And basically how Release Radar works is it's pretty simple. The people that follow you on your Spotify profile, they will get updated on their Release Radar algorithmic playlist your new song and every other song that has been newly released. Now recently I found out that Release Radar isn't just about the people that follow you. Yes, people that follow you do check out Release Radar, but that's not the entirety of Release Radar. Release Radar is also kind of a smaller version of what Discover Weekly is, which is something that we're going to get into later. But Release Radar basically gives discoverable listeners a chance to hear your music, to discover your music if it fits in the right um, audience for them. The way that I found this out is because we have a new release engagement tab on Spotify for artists that shows us how many of our followers are actually checking out our new releases. And me, for example, I can get 10,000 to 15,000 from release radar in the first week and only like 11% of that are actually my followers. It's pretty crazy. I, it's something that I didn't even expect to see. I thought that a lot more of my followers were checking out the songs through Release Radar, but it actually turned out it wasn't like that at all. A lot of them are discoverable, and so that's why I'm always getting new follows and new listeners because of that. Now, if that's the case, then why do I get such big Release Radar pushes? Because I do have 18,000 followers, and if only... 11% of them are actually checking out the song, then how am I getting so many streams from Release Radar? That seems like more of a Discover Weekly than it does Release Radar, right? But I think that it comes down to, it's just because I'm very consistent, I'm always releasing weekly, so it's always having new audiences being able to discover my music through Release Radar, and the more people that don't skip my music, the higher up on Release Radar I will be. And that's something I wanna get into next. So let's say you release a new song and it shows up on your followers release radar. If they click next on your song on release radar, the next time that you show up on their release radar, you'll be actually placed lower on that playlist because Spotify recognizes that last time you didn't react well to their song. So now we're going to kind of push another artist release higher up on the playlist so that you can check that out first. So. This is what's actually pretty cool about releasing weekly and releasing consistently is because since I'm always doing it and not a lot of people are skipping my song, I'm always being reached up to the top of the playlist. So every single time I release new tracks, I'm always getting bigger and bigger and bigger release radar pushes and therefore bigger first week um, drops are overall happening because the algorithm is just working like that. So you definitely want to keep that in mind, especially when you start messing with different genres and you're kind of, you know, if all your followers know you from being a rapper and then all of a sudden you drop a metal song or a country song, they might go ahead and skip your music. They might not like that style of music at first and they, it might be kind of jarring to them, so they might skip your song. And so the next time you release, you might be lower on that release radar than you were the, the week before. To kind of wrap up release radar and to kind of go into Discover Weekly, just know that there's a lot that we don't really know about the algorithm. There are certain things that we do know um, that really don't matter in the end. For example, Discover Weekly is one of those. Um, to get on Discover Weekly, you actually have to get a certain popularity score, and popularity scores are just determined by how popular your song is, how people are reacting to your song, how many times they're saving and adding to their playlist and reacting well, they're not skipping it. That gives you a higher popularity rate and that means that you know it kind of wants to push your music and um, do that on Discover Weekly. So that information is all well and good, but it really doesn't mean that you can really do anything about it. It's cool to know that there's a such thing as a popularity score, I guess, but there's no real way to somehow artificially bring that up, right? So really you just have to release good music, you have to promote good music, and it'll work out for you. Before we get into Discover Weekly more, I think it's a good mindset to have to 
not worry about, oh man, it just hit Monday and I don't have a Discover Weekly push, what's wrong with me? What's going on in my music? Or I didn't get that much of a Discover Weekly push. Or even if I got a really good Discover Weekly push, don't pay attention to it too much because it will be up and down, up and down all the time. There are situations where it kind of shows um, certain trends, right? And you'll probably see a lot of YouTubers talk about this, but I think that really just has to do with just kind of how music is consumed because it's usually on a weekly basis. You're usually going to get some kind of Discover Weekly push as you grow and you might get more and more and more based on how well you're doing and how consistent you are. Now how Discover Weekly really works in the end, a simple way to put it is let's say I have a song and you have a song that one person really likes your song but they haven't heard my song and there's another person that really likes both of our songs, that other person will actually get recommended my song on their Discover Weekly. Does that make sense? You have two listeners that are very similar to each other and one of them likes your song and my song and then the other one only likes your song. They're gonna get recommended my song now because that's been shown to work with another similar listener, right? So that's kind of how Discover Weekly works. And the best way to get on Discover Weekly is to just put a lot of good information to Spotify so that Spotify knows exactly what kind of listener to get your music discovered by, right? So it's just a lot of the same stuff that I've talked about before. If you guys haven't checked out my algorithm video, it's called Explain the Secrets Behind the Spotify Algorithm. Go ahead and definitely check that out. I deep dive into how to send the right signals to Spotify and um, get your music discovered by new listeners and overall get Spotify to push your music in a really cool big direction. Well that about wraps this video up. I know this is kind of a shorter one, but really when it comes down to it, Release Radar and Discover Weekly are very simple. There are things that happen every Monday and every Friday. It is very simple how they work, but there are a lot of nuances inside of there that we don't know fully how they work. It's just that, you know, when it comes down to it, it's stuff that we don't really need to worry about. What we need to worry about is sending the right information to Spotify so that Spotify can actually push us on these playlists us more and more and more every single week. Now, one thing that I definitely want you to keep in mind is that when I was releasing, when I started releasing weekly about a year and a half to two years now ago, um, I was getting very small first week pushes using Release Radar, right? I was getting maybe 500 streams a day. Uh, not a day, but 500 streams in the first week, and then that turned into a thousand, and then that turned into 2,500, and then that turned into 5,000 in the first week, and then that turned into now I get about 30,000 for the first week on my new releases, which is pretty insane. But it's just always consistently grown, and my monthly listeners doesn't have to grow uh, a lot, or my streams don't have to grow a lot either. It just really matters about the information that I'm sending to Spotify and it just knows my music and knows exactly who to send it to. So I'm always getting some kind of good release radar, some kind of good Discover Weekly push. And I think that's what really matters in the end. That's why I cannot stress enough to you guys um, how important it is to send the right information to Spotify and not send bad information to Spotify. Because the more bad information that you send to Spotify that goes against all the good stuff that you've been sending just screws everything that you did before. It's like going on the keto diet and doing it for three months and losing a ton of weight and then all of a sudden eating a bunch of candy bars and a full pizza, right? It's just gonna screw up your entire thing and then you're just gonna relapse, right? Um, so just don't do that. You wanna be very, very consistent and like I said, this is a normal thing. You have to put the work in. You have to put the work in and just do a lot. Just be consistent. Just be really consistent. It's very simple. But anyway, enough of me blabbering on. This has been uh, Zilla Mode. I'm Sadzilla. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, Zilla out.